Greetings, hi def. Uh, let me give. No oh, wow. Let me get a minute to get all these cameras synced up the way I want them to, or something, in some close semblance thereof. And uh, we will go live right away. Thank you guys for listening, um, especially uh, you guys on YouTube. I'm going to be talking about that when I first open because I want to make sure that everybody is seeing all the shows. So. Hello, YouTube screen, uh, stream. Uh, let me get this all straightened up with uh, queuing this. Greetings, unsettled souls. It's going to be one of those days where the computer skips. I can already tell it. Friends, you are listening to the correct views. Sam I.B. DeGangie, your humble host, uh, getting you all ready for the Dunce Cap of the Month Award show. Now, there's a couple things I want to go over while everybody is slowly trickling into the show. Uh, the first, uh, first thing I want to get to is uh, the YouTube channel. It's, it's no... Uh, great mystery that this show started on uh, YouTube, and due to the algorithm and everything, I found that going live it tends to bring in a few more people when it's done on Facebook. And due to uh, the format of the show changing, it, things are not necessarily as active on the YouTube channel. So while people are trickling in, I want to make sure that uh, I get everyone on the same page. Because people have been asking where to find me. Um, twice a month, the YouTube channel. I'm just doing twice a month on there now. It is uh, the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. And it is uh, the Massive Fukushima Update. And th there may be some other things in. But uh, I, I will be doing a much longer show uh, for Halloween when I do the Dunce Cap of the Month. I won't be doing the characters anymore. It's just not the same since the show changed, really, in here. But I'll make sure I have the craziest, zaniest, most insane stories ever. I'm not going as long today because I was just at the uh, Biden departure where Biden was leaving on the Amtrak train out of Alliance, Ohio. I covered that live. The video's on my Facebook channel, so YouTubers and everyone else, make sure you do go to uh, Samuel Degangi, D-I-G-A-N-G-I. You can also find it from the correct views on Facebook. Um, the entire, by what, two, two and a half hours of the uh, departure of Biden is posted up there, as well as uh, the Trump train from a week and a half, two weeks ago. If you appreciate that I do these things and that I make these videos and that I mail out dunce caps, please consider donating means a lot to me. The only way I get paid is if you think I'm worth it. And you can uh, let me know that by donating at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. All right, guys, two stories. I'm keeping it short. Like I said, you heard from me earlier. I don't want to be one of those people that post so much that, you know, you don't even watch. But since we are out of days this month and we have not yet done the Dunce Cap of the Month Award, I can't put it off. So we've got two stories I want to get to. The first one's obvious. What was that shit show that we listened to last night that they tried to call debates? You want to know how bad it was? You want to know how bad it was? Liberals who were ready to debate me, and I was certainly ready to debate them. We were like, nah, we've got nothing to say. Were you proud of your candidate, whoever it was yesterday? Because I wasn't. I'm happily voting for Trump. But were you proud of that? Did, did you enjoy hearing what we listened to yesterday? Because I didn't. I heard two people that hated each other doing the best they can to shout over each other, to scream over each other, and absolutely nothing whatsoever was given. It was a bunch of talking points. And I'm going to say this as a, uh, openly as a Trump supporter. Trump delivered all of 
the good things that he has brought us. Taking us out of the sham that is the Paris Accord. Um, giving us a good economy. Making sure that we stay out of foreign wars. Getting rid of NAFTA. Keeping us out of the TPP. All of the things that he did. Think of that as a prime rib dinner. Okay? Everything I just laid out, that's a prime rib dinner. And he's bringing it to you to show you what he's done. And he serves it to you with a slingshot! <sighs> Everything that he said I thought was pretty on point with the delivery of an angry child. And that is coming from somebody who is happy with his presidency and I will be voting for him. But I'm fair. That was freaking terrible. And the other side, the other the Biden interrupted, I, what did, did, did Trump interrupted nine million times. Yeah, well, Bernie, uh, Biden, eight million nine hundred ninety-nine. Now, what, what, what? It was terrible. He was completely lost on the climate change answer. He is for the New Green Deal on his site. He's not for the New Green Deal on the TV. Nightmare. Useless nightmare. And the reason why I'm mentioning it on the Dunce Cap of the Month Awards show is because here is my prediction. Particularly if this happens again, here's my prediction. Double time. Joe Jordanson is the uh, Libertarian candidate for president. And this year, third-party candidates have been getting nothing, followed by nothing, with a side of nothing. After this terrible performance, Joe Jordanson, for one, said that she has seen a lot of people hitting up her site, getting an interest in it. That's going to happen with the Green Party, too. And now we're going to have a spoiler. I don't think a third party, people out there listening, I already know what you're going to say. Oh, Sam, a third party's not going to get elected. I don't remember ever saying that, so don't get ahead of me. And don't say ever, that's a big word, but this cycle. We didn't have a spoiler. Pretty much everybody knew who they were going to vote for. There was no spoiler, like Ralph Nader was. Uh, the spoiler being... Uh, in theory, if it's a Green Party uh, candidate that's extremely popular, then it's going to take away from the Democrats because they're similar. And uh, the same would apply to Libertarians as it relates to Republicans. There were no spoilers because everybody pretty much knew where they were in this. Now, after the performance that was given to the American people, on the dunce cap of the month right here, you guys have created the opportunity if done right, for America to const maybe give some looks here at a third party. You, you, you may have brought your own spoiler into the election based on your foolishness. And that foolishness is not enough to give us the stupidest story. No, no, believe me. The Dove's Cap of the Month is going elsewhere. Or something. You hear it, right? Maybe we don't hear it. It all depends if my computer's going to work. Oh, yeah, we hear it. Alright, guys, that is the song, of course. Frizzy Fraggle. Frizzy Fraggle would have loved this event we had earlier. I said that, that was going on in Alliance. That that was just crazy. Uh, anyway, friends, the dunce cap of the month is uh, oh, <laughs> the dunce cap of the month is. I don't normally do this. In almost every single instance of the dunce cap of the month award show, I give it to the dumbest story that I've come across within the last month. But this story just kept on coming back to me again and again and again and again and again. And it was recommended to me and shown to me. And you know what? I'm going with it. This is from ABC News. Uh, ABCnews.go.com. Politics. 
America's national parks face existential crisis. An existential crisis over race. Listen to this stupidity. Camping is now racist. How does... The, the idea that you're going to camp is racist. As millions of Americans escape home quarantine to get to the great outdoors this summer, again, it's a little bit dated, they'll venture into parks, campgrounds, and forest lands that retain stubborn bastions of self-segregation. The outdoors and public lands suffer from the same systemic racism that the rest of society does, said Joe Pennell, associate director for the Sierra Club. Oh, we know how trustworthy they are. Which is the leading an effort to boost diversity in the wilderness and open spaces. Just 23% of the visitors of the parks were, for, were from people of color. 77% were white. And minorities make up 42% of the U.S. population. And that tells me that we've got a lot of work to do. Let me ask you a question. Why do we care? Why, why, why do we care? Nobody, thankfully, has said that black people should not camp. That black people cannot camp. That black people should be barred from camping. But listen to this. This is, this is a real story. We need better ways to cope with stress, to cope with the same level of trauma. We all have some level, honestly, of PTSD from a lot of things we've lived through as people of color. And nature is our way to do that. They act like they've hung signs that said no black people are allowed to camp. You know, I don't know a single white person. I have never met a single white person that said, I don't want to go camping with somebody who's black. That has never been said. Now there's a group called Brown People Camping. We are urging people who are maybe having this conversation for the first time to do the work. It's not about the moment. It's about committing yourself completely to a change of lifestyle. Lack of transportation to national parks and the cost of visiting were cited as the top reasons for people, especially black and Hispanic Americans, don't come very often. So, basically, it is the fault of all of America that more minorities don't go camping. took me a minute to figure out how I was going to do this hat. Let me go ahead. I get, I get the hat here, and I'm going to uh, read you the dunce cap of the month. I, get, I got a printer from donations, and it's this stupid little wee-wee printer, which I was not familiar with at all. That does not make me happy. Um, but I, I do have a printer. Unfortunately, it's, it's not really working all that great. But it is what it is. Let me go ahead here and... Uh, get this called up and then I will show you the hat. The hat is here and as everything I gets called up so that I may read this to you don't forget uh, listener supported here the correct views at hotmail.com you can donate through PayPal. Alright guys here's the hat. Of course it says dunce. Kind of a tall one this time. Um, not as good as making these as some people used to be. Say no bigoted bears. Now, this is going to be sent to the National Park Service, by the way. Um, a racist pump tent and a bigoted campfire. Be on the lookout for these things. Be on the lookout for a bigoted campfire. Because at any moment, it can jump from where a white person is and bam! I mean, that's, it's, it's a terrible thing. Um, I don't think that I shall see... A thing as racist as a tree. There you go. Now, that's a poem for those of you that don't know. I mentioned that because today at the, uh, at, speaking of dunce caps, when I was in Alliance, um, Black Lives Matter was there, and I had made the joke to one of the people that were yelling. I said, well, you could take the H.P. Lovecraft approach, in which case, no lives matter. And this woman goes, how could you say such a hateful thing? 
an H.P. Lovecraft, Cthulhu, 2020, No Lives Matter. Right over her head. Didn't catch any of the joke at all, but for those of you that did, I thought it was funny. Here we have a prejudiced turtle. And I want to make sure that this is showing up on the, the bottom cams, too. So let me quickly go ahead and make sure that, that all of that did show up on these ones as well. Uh, you guys, there's the tree. Yes. A racist campfire. Are you guys seeing the racist campfire down there? Okay, good, you are. Racist turtle. And is that all of it? That's everything I have? Yes, that's what I have drawn on it. And then if you would like to uh, hear me read the actual Don'ts Cap of the Month, if my computer ever decides to open it, I will read you that as well. And again, I want to remind you that I, I send these out. I have sent Don'ts Caps to the FBI, to the White House, to the Pentagon, to judges, to activists, to... Bernie Sanders, I have sent them everywhere. And they cost more than you would think often to send these out. Particularly depending on how big the cone is and where it's going. It can sometimes be a bit of an expense. So that is one of the reasons I uh, collect donations for the show. And uh, we're mere moments now from Adobe Photoshop uh, finally opening on this computer so that I can read to you the award as I have it written. And then of course I will be getting it printed, obviously, to get it sent out. Oh, for crying out loud. You can't make this up. Um, if any of you have been to the Alliance protest, or if you haven't seen it while I'm waiting, there it is, while I'm waiting for this to bring the picture in, uh, make sure, let, share some, you can share the videos that you may have from any of the protests or whatever and pass them on to me and I'll do my best to share them. My comment line here, where can I send it? YouTube.com slash the correct views. Uh, you can put it on my page too on, uh, on uh, Facebook if you wish to. I have no problem with that. And I think we're opening here. I hope we're opening here. If it doesn't, then I will just go ahead and print it, and then uh, go ahead and just post it in there. But I will give this one more chance to open, which hopefully it will do. No, open. Yes. All right, I'm going to have to put it on the actual comment line itself, friends. But thank you for listening. I, I will put it on there. If you want to see it and you haven't got to and you've made it this far into the video, make sure you let me know. I showed you the hat. For some reason, there's some issue with the computer, which you heard by the music skipping. I will have to restart it and that sometimes... Uh, that sometimes can take a moment. So it is what it is. All right, friends, thank you for listening. Good night. God bless.